Hello folks, welcome to the fifth demonstration video of our eShop project. Today I am going to explain about how to set up this forgot password add-on on our sign-in page. So let's see how this option really works before looking at our code today. Let's look at our database first. As you can see there are several registered users inside our database. Just for the example, let's assume that this person has forgotten his account password. So now he has to use our forgot password option to recover his account. To do this, user must insert the email that was used to create the account on this email field. So let's continue this by inserting our email. So now we can click on forgot password. So as you can see, we are getting an alert as verification code was sent to your email address. Please check your inbox. Then we are getting a prompt like this to update our account password. To continue this process, I need to grab the verification code that I have received to my email address first. Let's go to my email inbox. Inside of my inbox, you can see the email that I received. Inside of that, there's our verification code. I am copying this code and pasting this onto this verification code field on this page. Now we need to insert the new password that we are deciding to use for our account on this field. Now we need to retype that here on this field. We can use this button with i icon to view the password that we typed. You can see the same thing here. As you can see, when clicking on these buttons, the icons are changing. We are using icons that was provided by Bootstrap for these buttons. Ok, let's click on this reset password button. As you can see now I am getting an alert as your account password has been changed successfully. So now I am gonna sign in using my new password. Now let's see our database to find out whether our password was changed or not. You can see this user's current password here. As you can see, the old one was replaced with the new password that we just entered. Now we are certain that our forgot password add-on is working perfectly. Let's check on our code. First we need to design the reset password prompt UI that we are using to change our user password. To design this, we are using models that was provided by Bootstrap. You can see our model design here. Now we are adding IDs for the stuff we need to grab from the JavaScript side. As you can see, I am calling forgotten password javascript function from here. Then I am using one of those i icon buttons to call the show password javascript function from here. Then I am using the other i icon button to call the show retyped password function from here. Then I am using this reset password button to call the reset password javascript function from here. Now let's go to our script.js file. I created a global javascript variable as bm here. You can see a forgotten password javascript function here. I grabbed user's sign in email from here using an id we added. You can see I created a new xml http request here. To check the state of our request, I am using an already state change here as usual. When the forgot password.php side is giving a response text as success, this is showing an alert as verification code was sent to your email address, please check the inbox. When the response text is success, this also shows the forgotten password model here. We are sending our request to forgot password process.php side using the get method here. Now let's see the forgot password process.php side. As you can see, we are requiring our database connection file here. To send our emails with verification codes, we are using php mail option here. Also for the process of sending emails, we are requiring phpmailer.php, smtp.php, exception.php here. As you can see, we are grabbing the incoming request that was sent using the get method from the javascript side here. Then we are searching inside our database for a user account that was registered using the email address that was in the request. If there was a registered user on our database who were using the email address that was on the request, we are generating an unique ID to send as the verification code. As you can see, this is the part of the code which is generating the unique ID aka verification code. As you can see from here, we are saving the generated verification code on our database. As you can see, we added a new PHP mailer function here. We are using this email address to send our emails with verification codes. To be able to act as the sender email address, we need to change some settings of our email provider first. Because I am using Gmail as my email provider, I am going to security tab of manage.google.com first. Then we need to leave this two-step verification option on. As you can see in my case, it's already on. Now we need to generate an app password for our eShop. 
as you can see I already generated one before now we need to copy that generated password and paste it here on our code we are setting titles for our email addresses here as you can see I am using same email address and same title for both of these situations then we are setting the receiver's email address here then I am setting the subject of our emails here then I am creating the body content that should be inside our email here if the verification code sending process is failing this gives an alert as verification code sending process failed if it was successful this alert says success if a user tries to continue password resetting process without inserting an email this gives an alert as insert the email address that was used to create your account that's all i have to explain about forgot password process.php let's go back to our javascript file now you can see our show password javascript function here we are grabbing the password input field element here using this id then i am grabbing show password i button element using this id here when clicking on show password i buttons it changes the input field type from password to text it changes the i icon inside that too as you can see here all the things that i explained now applies for the retype password field too as you can see here inside the show retype password function now let's inspect our reset password function as you can see, I am grabbing sign in email, newly inserted password, retype newly inserted password, verification code here using IDs. As you can see, I am appending those details to a newly created form data here. Then I am creating a new XML HTTP request as usual. Then I am figuring out the state of our request using this already state change. Now you can see here, if reset password.php side is giving a response text as success, this shows an alert as your account password has been changed successfully. If the response text was success, this hides our bootstrap model too. As you can see here, I am sending our request to reset password.php side using post method here. Let's go to our reset password.php side. First, I am requiring our connection.php file from the top of this PHP script. Then, I am grabbing the incoming elements that we are receiving from the JavaScript side that was sent using the POST method from here. Then, here is a kind of a verification process going on down here as you can see. If the user sign in email field was left empty, our web app is giving an error alert as email address is missing. If new password field was left empty, this gives an error alert as please insert your new password. Then this part gives an error alert as password must contain 5 to 20 characters when password contain less than 5 characters or more than 20 characters. If retype new password field was left empty, this will give an error alert as retype your new password. Then this part checks out whether the retype password matches with the first one or not. If it was not, this gives an error alert as retype password should match with the other one. Then, if the verification code field was left empty, this gives an error alert as please enter the verification code that you received. Then, this query searches the user with that email address and that verification code from our database. If there is a one, this query updates the old password with newly set one. If that updating process was successful, this gives an alert as success. If an error occurred when completing the process, this gives an alert as invalid email address or verification code. So folks, that's all I have to demonstrate today. I am wrapping up this fifth part. Stay tuned for the sixth one. See ya.